Hello and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to show you the easiest way to make environments in Blender. This really only took me a couple of hours to do and it was a lot of fun. So first go over to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store and download Curie Engine. This is a 3D scanning app and it will use your camera to capture real life objects into 3D. So let's just open up the app. We can click on the plus and click take photos to start capturing. You can either do this manually or with your camera. Whatever works best for you is the method I'd suggest since it doesn't really matter that much. It's just what your preferences are. With the camera, you don't have to click the button every time. And the basic idea is just to get a lot of photos or video from different angles of your object with a little bit of overlap. And then the app can kind of guess where the geometry needs to be based on those images. This will first be a point cloud, but then it will be transformed to a mesh. The textures will be made from all the pictures you take. Once you're done capturing all your images, you can go over to the little arrow and click upload or you can change your settings if you want to I like to change my file format to GLB and then you end up with something like this if you have Curie Engine Pro you can export with textures and I really like those textures they are pretty great actually so this is a model with the default textures and this is the same model with the AI generated PBR materials and you can obviously tell the difference I 3D scanned this uh, concrete pile of things. I really don't know what they are. I also scanned this rock with very few pictures to test the quality. I also scanned this concrete pole thing and a rubber duck. The process of 3D scanning a featureless object is made really easy in Curry Engine. So I wanted to scan this, this rubber duck that I have. And if I did it with the traditional photogrammetry, this would look something like this, which is really, really not usable, as you can see. So the solution for that is to go over to Curry Engine and then select featureless object. This is still in beta testing, but it works uh, really quite well. So how you do this is you just place your object and then you just keep your camera on it for two minutes while circling around trying to get every single angle you can get and after you've done that it really only takes a couple of minutes before it's processed and then you can use your model it's not perfect but it's a lot better than uh, the mess that i showed you before so this is one of the the best features i've ever seen in a 3d scanning app it's just incredible technology that just works on android and iphone i also just want to mention that i was using a android device since i don't have a apple device near me anywhere and the experience on the android device was incredible there were no problems it was quick and easy people that have been struggling to find good uh, 3d scanning apps on android Curry Engine is the app for you. It's uh, really perfect. And it's pretty much just as good on Android as it is on iPhone, just without the LiDAR scanner, of course. Exporting the models, of course, wasn't really that hard. You just hit export and then download the model and then you can just import it right away. It was really easy to do. I won't go over it too much, but you could uh, do an advanced export if you have Curry Engine Pro, which gives you the option for the PBR material. Thank you, Curry Engine, for sponsoring this video. Uh, it was really fun 3D scanning everything I came across. And I think we can just get on with the environment now. So once I imported all the models, there was only a few things that I left to do. So the first thing is to merge by distance, since uh, with 3D scanning, a lot of the time, uh, vertices overlap so just remove the unnecessary vertices and then just use a boolean to cut out the shapes I want and cut out any unnecessary detail I don't need in my scene. I also decided to grab this floor texture from one of my scans which was not planned. I did not scan this it just picked it up so that was really nice and just use a cube to make a perfect square out of it. So I could then array it and use it in the scene. Then I started thinking about the idea of the scene. And I really like the idea of a destroyer duck. Since I scanned my uh, rubber duck model. And I just wanted to throw it in there somewhere. So I decided to make it really big. And make it kind of this uh, Godzilla type of duck. Where I could shine light through. And just illuminate the scene. Then I just duplicated a lot of the assets, which made it really easy to get a ground. And also a lot of uh, detail and assets in the scene, like the concrete things. This made it really easy to dress up the scene. As I said, I wanted to shine light through the duct, so I made a new material. So with glass BSDF, with the color to the color, 
and the roughness up high i could change the iowar and create a really nice glow effect and i did that with a area lamp a really really bright area lamp behind our duck then i just added in a plane uh, to add some grass and some trees which i normally do with uh, botanic which are just some really easy nature assets in the scene create an environment around it the scene was really performative up until i added in the grass and the trees because the uh, 3d scans from kiri engine were optimized pretty well so i didn't run into any issues with that you probably would if you use the uh, high poly models but i used the low poly models since it made more sense for my scene so yeah no problems with performance for me at least i really liked how it started to look at this point uh it looked really goofy but it was a funny sort of goofy i really like that I also made a render without the duck, just as a shadow catcher, which turned out a little bit less cool. And I also made a render in daylight, just to show you I'm not cheating with uh, making it low light, so you don't really see the assets. They are pretty cool to look at. And these are the final results. I made a lot of renders, and I really liked the process. It was really fun. And uh, yeah, it was fun. So go download the Curry Engine. Go support them, go buy a Pro subscription because it does really improve your workflow. If you buy Curie Engine Pro, you go from 30 max images to 200, which adds a lot of detail to 3D scans. I've used it for a month and it's amazing. I don't want to lose it. Leave a comment with what I should do in the next video. Something with notes, either Shader Editor or Geometry Notes Editor. So yeah, that's it. Uh, goodbye.